got music up in this thing. What's going on here? Um, what's going on, people? Happy Friday up in here. Um, we got Son Doris in the building. We got Adele up in here. What's going on, peeps? Thank you guys for coming to the live. I know I've been going for a minute, but I'm back. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me turn my heat press on. Cause we about to get into it. We got Mad Hat up in here. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, did I just mess up my print? Hopefully not. Hold on. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, Sardora so said it's all love. It's definitely all love. I miss you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming to the live. Um, I'm dumb late, uh, because I couldn't get my printer, uh, to print out my, uh, my design. So I'm dumb late. I'm dumb late. So we're going to rock with it. Um, I have to, we're going to probably do like a quick, quick tutorial, uh, because I do have the, the, uh, procreate class at five. So I got to get over to that. Um, but we're still going to get in here. We're going to have fun, uh, because I missed you guys so, so much. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, let me see. Adele said, uh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you as well. Thank you guys for coming. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to, to go, uh, relax with my fam, you know, get my head together. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So, um, yeah. Uh, Triple Trey Beat said, uh, brought them frames pressure. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you, my man. Thank you so much for coming to the live. Um, uh, High Hope said, uh, Will I Am. Uh, is, is that what you're saying I look like? <laughs> um, that's hilarious. Uh, that's the first time I got that, so that's cool. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for coming to the live. We're going to print some uh, custom sublimation socks. So if you're not familiar who, uh, with who I am, my name is Mr. Socks. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I print socks um, the best way that I know how, you know, to make it professional, to make it seamless, um, and we're going to get right into it. So feel free, if you have questions about uh, my process, what I use, my materials, feel free to put it in the chat, and we're going to rock with it, all right? Uh, Julie up in here said, what state are you from? So I'm uh, originally from uh, Philadelphia, uh, but I just moved down to Texas, uh, Houston, Texas, about two years ago, so I've been here since then, all right? So... Uh, if you guys don't uh, are not familiar with with me, I play a lot, you know. I say you know a lot, <laughs> so uh, so yeah. I can't I can't really really say uh, too much, but uh, I definitely play all the time. Uh, we got Wisconsin up in, up in here. Please drop your locations in the comments. Uh, let me know where you're from, uh, cause I definitely want to shout shout you guys out. Um, I just came back from Hawaii. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. So once I get put on, once I get my millions, or oh, I'm, I'm for I'm for sure sending sending everybody to Hawaii because Hawaii is a is definitely a vibe. Uh, so I want you guys to experience it as well. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and I work so much. I actually been working since uh, March of last year, you know, building this brand, you know, getting all uh, the tutorials to you guys. So it's the first time I was able to get a full uh, vacation um, of a couple of days and it was absolutely amazing. So uh, thank you guys so much for just rocking with me, for giving me that time uh, to go and enjoy, uh, you know, my family and all that. I appreciate you guys. All right. Uh let me see. Sandora says, uh, my son just, uh, just in, um, Houston mid, oh, mid July for his birthday. Check him out. You know, um, we got Adele from, uh, Sumter, uh, South Carolina. That's where my family is from. Uh, Adele, you, you might be my fan band for real, for real. You know, uh, Yelly said, uh, she's from, um, what is it? Denham, uh, Springs, LA. Uh, what is that? Louisiana. I appreciate appreciate you uh, for for coming. We actually just sent my mother in law back to to Shreveport, Louisiana. So uh, shout out to Louisiana up in here. Uh, Flair uh, from Connecticut. We got uh, Matt Hatter from Savannah, Georgia. Uh, we got Sandoris from uh, from Washington D.C. Uh, she said we're having a thunderstorm. We actually are having one as well. Looking a little dark out there, as you can see. Uh, so we just actually something just just passed by. That thing was booming. That thing was booming. Uh, let me see who else we got up in here. 
Uh, 5W Whites is from Delaware. Delaware up in here. Uh, she said my, my hub, husband wants to learn how to do sublimation. Call that man in here. We, we got to get him. We got to get him right. Call that man in here, you know? I got I rock with all the hubbies. Like, the hubbies be like... They don't be tripping when they when when the wives come and watch me. Uh, you know they don't be doing all that extra stuff. I'm not trying to. Everybody is my fan band, my girl cousins. My I got some primas in here as well. Uh, so so the husbands don't be tripping when when they wives be watching me. So shout out to them. Uh, <laughs> Julie uh, Julie said I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for coming to the live. I appreciate you. Uh, Joy uh, from Washington uh, State. What's going on with you? Born and raised in Guam. Uh, let me see. Adele said we are the Sock family. What's good? <laughs> exactly, Mrs. Socks and the Sock family. You like the uh, like the Temptations out this thing, you know? Uh, let me see. Um, I don't know who that was. Let me see. Uh, what is that, Michael Two One Five? What's going on, Philly? I see you, bro. You know? Thank you so much for coming to the lot. Anybody that come from Philly, I'm like, what's going on with you? Where you at? Where you at? North? You in South? Let, let me know. Let me know. Uh, who else we got in here? Uh, simply me, Lex. What's going on with you? We got Tiff in the building. Um, uh, Sandora said I have a close friend from Shreveport. Let's go. Shreveport is absolutely amazing. It's a small town, um, but it's like so wholesome. It's like it got a great vibe. So, so anybody from Shreveport, uh, is is okay in my book because that is a, it's a, like I said, it's a small town, but it is absolutely amazing there. Um, so if you ever get a chance, make sure y'all know everybody go to New Orleans, but make sure you hit up hit up uh, Shreveport as well because Shreveport is a vibe. You know, we got uh, West Philly up in here. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Uh, what's going on with you, bro? I appreciate you. We got West Philly and North. You know, we we all over. I'm I'm actually from Germantown uh, slash North Philly, so a little bit, you know, Brickyard, a little bit in there. Uh, but I appreciate you, my man, for coming to the live. Uh, let me see who else we got. Uh, Yelly said my son uh, used to go to uh, uh, Cemetery um, in in Shreveport. Got you. What is that? The uh, college up there? Uh, let me see. Glad he said, uh, is from New York. Thank you so much for coming to the live. We got Minnesota up in here. Uh, what is that? Miss, Miss C notes. I see you. Um, we got Arkansas up in here. Little rock. Let's go. I see you. Um, let me see. Uh, five W white said grew up in Mount Airy. Come on, Mount Airy. Let's go. So we got our design. We actually got to print another one. I thought that, uh, it print both, but it actually didn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to print another one out while we get all of this started. And then we're going to get right into it. All right. So let me just, uh, let me just pull that up real quick. And we're going to, uh, we're going to print this out one more time. Let me see. Let me see. All right. So we got that. Let me print this bad boy out and we're going to get right into it. Um, Miss C Notes, I see you. Thank you so much for coming to the live. So what we're going to do, we're going to get out our materials. I actually just uh, just got some more socks in uh, from Amazon. So we got the gilding. You know, anybody who do sublimation socks, you know we do the gilding. Uh, so let me open these up. I had to order them right before I went on vacation. They were supposed to come right, you know, right before I left. But, you know, it didn't end up coming. So we're going to rock with it. I'm glad we got it in while i was out so let's get into it so we got the gilding socks here we're gonna get our um our sock jigs we got the sock jigs all right so while that's printing out i'm just going to tell you a little about a bit about what i do um the materials that i use and then we can kind of go from there uh what is that arkansas sassy thank you so much for the follow uh we got jp up in here from dallas texas let's go all right so what we're going to do is we're just going to go over the materials a little bit just to show you guys what I use, how I use it, um, and then we're going to go from there. All right. So let me um, let me see if I can bring up my uh, my TikTok, my other TikTok, so I can see you guys' questions. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me get that thing. Every time I go on TikTok, it's always like some, some music popping. All right, so we got that. Let me go in here. 
so I can answer you guys' questions. So I don't actually have to keep looking over here. All right. So we got that. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, again, just show you guys what I use so that we can create these seamless socks. All right. Um, if you have questions, feel free. Put it in the chat. If, if I can't answer it, then uh, somebody in uh, the fan band will answer it for you. We got Mollus up in here. Uh, Yelly said, Gildan socks, I've been using and one. So the thing about and one is I don't really like and one socks just because they uh they kind of give you like that cracked look um and they're not really like quality material uh because when you go to press it press it at high pre uh high pressure um it kind of flattens to where it it won't like you know get its shape back uh so with other socks like uh gildan uh adidas um uh calvin klein reebok those socks like that they are pretty much you know they'll they'll press down but they'll also be you know uh i guess uh uh how can i explain it uh because i know it's a lot of new people in here if you don't if you haven't pressed sublimation socks it's kind of hard to explain um but all i all this is what i'll say if you press in one socks and you press it at high pressure it's hard to kind of bounce back it won't really get its elasticity back so that when you put it on your leg it'll kind of have like that droopy look instead of it um you know compressing and hugging around your leg all right so just be mindful of that when you're using n one socks um just try to get something like test a lot of socks uh, like i said i use adidas i use gildan i use calvin klein reebok um Socks like that are, you know, the material, they're used to that because it's athletic uh, wear. It's athletic uh, companies, so they're used to, like, you know, testing out different uh, materials. So just be mindful of, of that when you're, like, trying to uh, press your socks, uh, especially the way I press it. We press it at such uh, heavy pressure and high temperatures that it will uh, kind of smash it to where it doesn't, like, uh, regain its, its elasticity. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We got Deborah up in here. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Roxy in the building. Uh, <laughs> she said, my favorite designer. I appreciate you. Thank you for not uh, being selfish. You know how we do. You know how we do. We got Jay Marie up in here. What's going on, Prima? Um, let me see. Uh, Matt Hedda said, they uh, pressed too flat. Exactly. Uh, Jay Marie said, am I late? You are right on time. Uh, Yelly said, um, the elasticity, uh, doesn't return. Exactly. Exactly. So just be mindful of that. If you want to get some socks, then I would recommend getting the Gildan socks. They're like uh 12 pair for like $17.99, which is a great deal. It's probably like one, a dollar and some change for, uh, for each pair. So, uh, if you want to like, you know, test out some socks, definitely try uh, Adidas, Gildan, um, and Calvin Klein. Those, those are my top three. All right. Uh, Sandora said, what other sock brands do you use? Uh, so, uh, again, Adidas, uh, Adidas, uh, Gildan, uh, Calvin Klein. I've tried Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger, uh, uh, is good as well. Um, who else? Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, I probably have, I probably used about five where I would consistently use those same, um, over and over, um, uh, Michael says, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, bro. I don't know if it's Michael or Miko. Uh, he said, uh, my Nike socks keep getting holes. Uh, so I don't even, I don't like the Nike socks. I tried them when I first started using sublimation. Uh, but I don't like the Nike socks because they kind of compress too much around the leg. Um, and they don't like, even with you like washing them, they still kind of like leave a, um, a indentation in your leg sometimes. So I don't really like Nike socks. And I don't like how they press. So, uh, but everybody kind of, you know, I, you know, Philly, Philly will, will throw on some, some Nike socks with some, uh, with some joggers and they good to go. Uh, but again, you know, if you, I, I guess if you kind of have like a skinnier leg, then you're good to go with the Nike socks. But, um, I don't really press with Nike socks. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that's how, that's how I feel about that. Uh, let me see. Deborah, uh, Deborah said, uh, hi, uh, you are so welcome. Thank you so much. Um, Yelly said, um, it's so, um, it's preference also. Yes, exactly. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I got my design here. We're going to get right into, 
uh, this tutorial real quick. All right. Uh, let me see if I can turn my my thing around because I can't really see y'all comments. Uh, let me see. Let me see. All right, I might have to go out and come back in. Um. All right. So here we go. Um. Make sure y'all tap, tap, tap it up so we can get to our crafting community. All right, so we good to go. All right, so we're going to get started with our tutorial. Again, if you have questions, feel free to put it in the chat. We got baby mama up in here. All right, so again, we use our gilding socks. This is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. Um, I would recommend mostly polyester. Anything above 90% uh, should be good. Um, but anything lower than 90 percent and anything with cotton in it you want to stay away from just because that cotton whatever uh ink will grab grab onto that cotton it will wash out once you uh once you go to wash it so just try to stay away from the cotton uh, just do mostly polyester mostly synthetic material and you'll be good to go all right then we have our sock jig our sock jig is used to uh stretch out our sock stabilize the sock so that we can press um at heavy pressures um, and it's still not, you know, not, uh, you know, stretch out the sock too much or it just kind of stabilizes it and stretches it out, stretch it out. So when you go to put the sock on your leg, you know, your image won't be distorted. Your colors will still be vibrant. Um, I don't know if y'all can see. I got my my Joker socks on, you know, with the blue and the purple. I mean, the, with the with the purple and the green. Let's go. All right. Uh, what is that? A Love Jury said, hey, what's going on with you? Thank you so much for coming to the live. All right. So we got that. We also have our design. This is a uh, courtesy of uh, Hawaii. Like I said, I just came back from that and it was such a vibe. I feel like I want to leave Houston right now and like just go live there. Uh, so we got the Hawaiian vibe, the pattern I did in Procreate. Um, so if you want to get into Procreate, make sure you go to the link in the bio. We have classes starting on uh what is that august 9th so make sure if you want to learn about you know designing that pro procreate how to use procreate making patterns like this make sure you get into the class again it starts uh august 9th all right so we're going what we're going to do is we're going to clean our sock jig all right uh because we don't want any of the residue that's on the sock or that's that came from our last print we don't want it to show up on our next sock so we just want to clean it uh, with a microfiber cloth um, and some alcohol here. All right. It doesn't matter what type of alcohol. Usually I would use 91%, uh, but I think this is like 70% and it still works fine. All right. So we're just going to clean this off here. Let's clean the other one. All right. So we got that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load the sock onto the sock jig. All right, so let's do that here. All we're gonna do, put the uh, sock jig under your under your neck here. We're gonna stretch out our sock, and then we're just gonna slide it on. All right, so we just slide it on here. Uh, now I can't do like the all the maneuvering with with the, <laughs> with the uh, you know with the, the the holder that I usually do because I end up breaking it before I got on here. So I'm gonna have to go to five below and get me a new holder because I uh. <laughs> I need that bad boy. There you know. All right, so we got that. What we're going to do here is we're going to uh, just roll our edges here. We just want to make sure that our lines are from top to bottom. All right, we don't want any like zigzags or anything because however the sock presses um, on the sock jig is how it'll look on your leg or your customer's leg. So just be mindful of that. All right, so we're just going to just, you know, roll our edges here just to make sure uh, that our lines are straight. All right. So we got that. Let's uh, load our other one as well. Same thing. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Uh, a jury. A love jury. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Sue, what is that? Susie Blue. Thank you so much for the follow. Yelly. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, Matt Hatter said uh, I did the same thing. Pressed up some Jamaica socks. Um, soon as I got back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You know. Uh, Ryan Mack, thank you so much for coming to the live, bro. Um, uh, he said, uh, link me to the, the class, please. So if you go to the link in the bio, I know, 
um uh, tiktok been like messing up my bio uh link in there so if, if it's there um then you can click on it it'll say uh procreate class and you can just uh sign up there all right but if it's not there then you can go to linktree uh slash mr socks and all my links will come up there as well all right so again we're just rolling our edges here just to make sure that uh our lines are straight we don't want any zigzags all right so we got that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lint roll our sock here so i'm just going to turn this uh down a little bit so that you guys can see it looks a little bright all right so we have our our lint roller we just want to lint roll our sock all right because we don't want any of the uh fibers that we can't see to show up on our press all right so we're just going to lint roll this thing all right Lint roll this one as well. All right, so we have that done. Now we can start to um, cut our design here. So let me get out my cutter. Now again, I'm gonna have to like maneuver y'all a little bit different than than what I usually do. So I'm, I'm gonna try to rock with it. Try to rock with it. All right, so we have our design here. Now, we don't need any of this white space here, so we're just going to cut this off. So, I'm going to just make sure that it's lined up. All right. We're going to cut this white space off because we don't need it once we go to wrap our sock. So, we're just going to place it down here. And then we're just going to just line it up, make sure that um, it's lined up correctly. So, that looks good. Let me just move that over a little bit more. Because we want to cut into the design a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's a, like a little bit of the ink here. You want to make sure that you cut into the design a little bit because you, you don't want any of that, this white here to show up on your sock. All right, so we got that done. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to begin to wrap our sock. All right, so let me see uh, if you guys have questions. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where we at? Where we at? um arkansas said uh so tequila will work uh will work too <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> and tequila will work vodka will work look whatever you got you know whatever you got uh <laughs> that's hilarious uh let me see let me see <laughs> that was hilarious uh um let me see let me see where we at um uh, Miles said, driving son to uh, football practice. Let's go, uh, young boy. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Queen, Queen T Custom uh, Creation said, hello. Thank you so much for coming to the live. We got Ash in the building. What's going on with you, Ash? Um, she said, that's a cute design. Thank you so much. I did it right before I actually came on here. I would have been on time if it wasn't for my printer. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to wrap our, our design, right? So we're going to wrap it around our sock. So what we're going to do is just lay it flat here. We're going to place it face down. And then what we'll do is we'll just wrap it here. Right? So we're just going to fold it. Fold it this way. All right? And then we're going to fold it again. Now, this part will overlap. You want to make sure that it overlaps slightly um, because it's also some, some white space over here as well. You don't want that to show up on your sock. All right? So we're just going to overlap it slightly. And then we're going to line up uh this top edge here to make sure that the the paper is uh lining up evenly all right so we got that now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the bottom lines up as well we want to make sure that it's even then we'll get our tape here and then we'll tape it here right so we tape the top we'll tape the middle and then we'll go down here and we'll tape the bottom all right and then we'll do we'll uh, do what I call our fillers. So we're just going to fill in where we didn't place tape at. And then we're going to tape up our seam here. All right. So we're just going to tape this just to make sure that we don't have any movement once we uh, go to press this. Because like I said, we're going to press it up at heavy pressure. Um, so again, you don't want any movement um, because movement means ghosting. So if you don't know what ghosting is, it just means that you have an image. It's a darker image, kind of like this. And then you have like 
some some outlines uh kind of like ghosting around here all right so you don't want that all right so this is what it should look like on this side all right we have it taped to the sock jig now we're going to flip it over and tape it here as well all right uh let me see let me see um uh miko said uh what uh what tape is what type of tape is this so this is called a uh, temperature uh, or or high temp tape or uh, uh what you call it heat tape is what they call it as well um so it's, it's just pretty much we're pressing our socks up at, at heavy pressure right at uh 400 degrees so anytime you would use like some type of masking tape or something like this you're going to have the adhesive that's on the bottom of this um is going to kind of spill out onto your sock or onto your paper you don't want that a lot of the time so with the heat tape um it doesn't have like that that heavy um adhesive so you're good to go with you know with the high temperatures so that's the only difference not saying that you can't use this right off the bat you know if you're just starting out you can definitely use this but you know the heat tape is just easier because then you don't have to worry about that residue all right so we got that this is how it should look on both sides now we're going to wrap the next one. All right. So again, we're going to place it face down here. And then we're just going to fold it. All right, fold it here. And then we're going to overlap it again. All right, then we're going to push it towards uh, the center just to make sure that it's tight. We'll get our heat tape and we'll tape it again. All right, tape it the middle, then come down here, make sure it's even, and tape the bottom, and then we'll do our fillers. All right, so we have that. Now we can tape up our um, our seam here. Now, if you hear the squeaking, it's uh, pretty much me just dragging my finger across the tape just to make sure that it adheres to uh, to the actual tape or the tape uh, adheres to uh, the artwork. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna tape it to the sock jig on both sides. All right, and this is how it should look. All right, so let me see if you guys have questions before we uh, we go into our secret weapon. Uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, let me see. I might have to do it on here because I'm gonna have to start this over. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, what is that? Kiss Mac uh, said uh, it's called Captain Tape. Uh, I never heard that term, but uh, I, I will have to look that up. Um, let me see. Let me lock this because I don't need it to turn. Um, let me see. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, Kids back. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, they said uh, awesome way of doing socks. Thank you so much for that. Um, uh, Miko said is is that transfer paper? So no, this is actually um, usually when you're doing sublimation, you will use sublimation paper, right? This is just regular copy paper. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And Miko, if you're interested in learning about, uh, you know, the process, everything that I use, make sure you go on to uh, my profile, click on um, on the, the IG button, and then just send me a message. And I'll show you, you know, tell you everything that you can, you know, pick up or buy so that you can, you know, make these socks as well. All right. So this is the paper that I use. It's regular copy paper. It's more like a, a poster paper than than anything else. Right. So. Uh, usually like the paper that that you would usually use for your copy paper it'll be like you know pretty much thin that's the 20 pound paper this is actually the 32 pound paper so it's a little bit heavier um it's a lot easier for you to wrap wrap your uh your design around your sock all right so we got that next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our secret weapon and we're going to use aluminum foil all right so no, we're not making no no cornbread. We're not doing no no uh no baked chicken. We ain't we ain't doing none of that. We going we gonna bake these socks with this aluminum foil. All right. So let's get into it. Um, we got Sherelle in the building. What's going on, Sherelle? 
Thank you so much for coming to the live. All right. So we have our alumina foil, right? Now, the alumina foil is used for um, our seams, right? So we could press this up front and back, and we'll be able to get an image, right? But if we uh, press this um, at the front and the back, we will still get those white lines going up and down our sock. We don't do that here, right? We do 360 design. We don't just press on the front and then press on the back, right? So the alumina foil is, like I said, so that we can target um, the seams here and get be able to extract the ink uh, from, from those seams, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to fold it in half here. All right. So we fold it in half. That'll take care of this side of the seam. And then we'll just to take care of this side of the seam, we're just going to pick it up and we're going to cuff it behind the sock jig here. All right. So once we cuff it, we know we're good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slightly pull towards us so that we can create that tight seal. All right. So let's do that. So we're just going to slightly pull so that it'll tighten uh, these seams here. And then we'll just tape it in place. All right. Jay Marie says, uh, sock tato time. Let's go. Uh, what is that? Fresh unbox said, uh, how many washes? How many washes? How many washes? Hold on. Y'all got to see my face for this. We don't wash out over here. You know, <laughs> we, we do 15,000 washes and we still don't wash out. We still vibrant over here. Let's go. You know, we don't wash out over here. That's all I'm saying. If I'm lying, please put it in the comments. Let them know. <laughs> now nah, we don't we don't wash out. <laughs> well, the the color don't fade. We don't do nothing. You know, I had these. Um, I made these socks. I don't know if y'all can see them, but I made these socks about a year ago, and they still vibrant. So, uh, so yeah, we don't wash out. Um, so we going again. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly pull this. All right, slightly. So that we can tighten up that edge there. And all right. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our rub test. The rub test is when we pretty much just run our finger across uh, the seam here. Now, what we're looking for is that aluminum foil sound, right? If we don't hear, if we hear that aluminum foil sound, we know that we didn't wrap it tight enough. We need to go back and we need to wrap it again. All right. Now, if we don't hear it, then we know we're on the right track. You know, we, we wrapped it tightly and that's what we're looking for. So we're going to do our rub test here. We don't hear anything. We know we're good to go. Now we can tape it to the sock jig. So we'll do that on both sides. All right. This is how it should look. And let's wrap up our next one. All right. So we're going to smooth that thing out. Do the same thing. Place it face down here. We're going to fold it in half. All right. Cuff it behind the sock jig. Then we're going to pull, pull on it slightly to tighten those edges there. And then we're going to tape it. We're going to do that all the way down the sock. Now, this part is a little daunting, like when you're when you first start out. Uh, but I promise you, um, and, and anybody in the comments can let me know, let, let everybody know if I'm lying. You will get the hang of it probably by the second or the third time. If you come in here enough and see me wrapping it, then you'll pretty it'll, it'll pretty much come you know second nature to you. So um, you know it's not it's not hard at all to wrap. It may look like a lot, but it's really not. All right. So we're gonna tape it to the sock jig here. We're gonna do our rub test. We don't hear anything. We know we're good to go. Um, so we can get that press. All right. Let me see if you guys have questions before we press this thing up. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Liz Libra said, uh, hi, just joined Mr. Paper. Uh, where are you talking about? Uh, do you have a YouTube? I do have a YouTube. I don't use it that often. Um, so I, I keep saying that I'm going to like post more on there. Um, but I don't use it that often. I have to like get, get, you know, really get into it, but everybody kind of keep me busy on TikTok. So, uh, that's probably why I haven't like went over there yet. Um, but as far as the paper, I use a, a paper called Hammer Mill. Um, it's a regular, you know, copy paper that you put in uh, a regular printer. Um, and I use that to pretty much uh, wrap, uh, you know, print on my designs and then wrap it around my sock. All right. So I don't use uh, sublimation paper. Uh, let me see. Um, Matt Hedda said, anybody else um, keep, excuse me, live keeps freezing. 
Um, I'm actually on my iPad and I, I only seen it freeze a couple times, but if, if it is freezing, please let me know. Uh, Yelly said, uh, no, but apparently my comments aren't going through. Um, I don't know about that either. Um, it could be something that you're saying or what, you know, what, uh, cause TikTok will filter out some comments and then they won't even, uh, send it through. So if it comes out and it looks gray, then it's not even uh, being sent. So that and that's just for anybody. If you type something and it comes out and it looks gray, then it's not even uh, you know coming over to me. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, what is that? Uh, Petrie um, said, uh, "Do you use sublimation ink?" I do use sublimation ink. I use an ink called Wocock, um, and you can find that in a link in, the link in my bio as well. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Miles Tiff, thank you so much for for um, answering um, questions. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let me see. Let me see. All right, so we look like we good. We good to go. Um, so let's. Uh, we're gonna. Let me move this up a little bit so you guys can see me press. All right. So we got our heat press here. We got it going at four hundred degrees, and we're gonna press it for sixty seconds now. When you press this, you want to press it at heavy pressure. Please do not press these socks at light pressure or medium pressure because you still will get those lines going up and down your sock, all right? So we don't do any rolling, you know, rolling out of socks, you know, just so that we can get the ink to, to the seams. No, we don't do any of that. We Our, our aluminum foil would do all of the heavy lifting for us, so we don't have to do that, all right? So all we're going to do is we're going to press it. We're going to flip that bad boy, press it again. And then take it off and let it cool. All right, so let's do that. So we're just going to press it here. Again, face, uh, placing it face down. All right, again, we're doing uh, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And we're just going to press this. Uh, now we have the Teflon sheet here. Now I like to, usually before I was putting the Teflon sheet just over the sock. Uh, but one of my uh, my fan bam said they put it on the heat press uh, with using mag magnets. So that's what I've been using, and it's been like uh, perfect, you know, ever since. All right. So this is a Teflon sheet, um, and it's just used as a barrier between the sock and the heat press. All right. So we're gonna press this up at heavy pressure, um, and then we're gonna let that go for about sixty seconds. Um, <laughs> Tiff said, "Press, press, 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 press." <laughs> Let's go, Tiff. <laughs> Let's go, Tiff. Tiff play all day, bro. Uh, uh <laughs> let me see. Uh Petrie said, uh I have a question. Do you use sublimation ink? Um if you use if you use sub paper. Um so yes, you would use sublimation ink for anything. If you use sub paper or you use regular copy paper, you still would use sublimation ink. You cannot print these socks using just a regular printer ink. You have to use uh the sublimation ink. All right. Uh so that's a great a great question. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tiff play all day. Um, Milo said he's not using sub paper. No, I'm not using sub paper. I'm using, um, copy paper by Hammer Mill. All right. So we got five seconds left. Um, and then we're going to flip that bad boy, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. All right. That's just uh short for, we're going to flip that bad boy. <laughs> all right. So we're going to flip it here. All right. That's all we're doing. We're not taking it off. We're not. Rewrapping with the aluminum foil, we're just gonna flip it and then we're gonna press again for another 60 seconds. All right. Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to put it in the chat. If I missed your question, uh, feel free to uh, add it back to the chat as well. Um, let me see. Uh, what is that? Mark MF said, What's up? Thank you so much for coming to the live. I appreciate you. What's going on with you? Uh, Yelly said, Uh, where can we get the insert? Um, so you can get the insert, the uh, sock jig. Uh, it's a link in my bio for what I use. Now I have a, this is the four and a half inch. Um, and I also have the 3.35 inch. Uh, as you can see, it's a difference as, as far as the width. Um, now I use this one, the 3.35 inch I'll use for kids socks or uh, adults that just have a small leg. Um, and this one is what I'll use for adults or, you know, people that kind of just have like uh, a bigger calf. All right. So um, it does matter because if you use. We're gonna... 
you will have that uh that stretched out like um it will distort your image and all of that so just be mindful of that uh when you um when you're pressing because if you if you have a sock jig that's not stretching out your sock enough then you will still have like those um those uh i guess light light type of images or or images that's like not crisp or look distorted because when you stretch it out it's kind of like um making the the white peek through a little bit more so if you have you know if you just start off with a four and a half inch or above you know as far as uh, the sock jig if you start out with a larger or a wider uh sock jig then you you know you'll be um pretty much good to go as far as your colors because it won't you know it'll just stretch out a little bit i can show you what that looks like so let me get uh this is a um this is a, a million sock that i did um, and again, if you stretch it out now, this is the N1 socks. This is the socks that I don't really like, um, because they don't really kind of, you know, they don't come back to its form the way I, I would like. Um, but again, they still press good. Um, it just depends on, I guess the image that you use. All right. There's another one. This is my brand, uh, on deck, uh, T company. This is uh Gildan socks. Again, it's a whole lot better. Um, it stretches better. All right, so again, this is a stretch. Now, usually if I put this on my leg, it won't stretch out that much. Um, and I have like a health, healthy calf. It's like not small at all. Um, and I still can stretch it out and you still can kind of see um, what, what it says. Um, sometimes when you print socks, you know, if you don't use the right uh, sock jig, you know, or the insert, then it'll still come out looking like super like doll you know your colors look crazy all because you know you stretched it out too much and now you know that white is peeking through all right um let me see let me see where we at where we at we got sue in the building from the uk what's going on with you sue thank you so much for coming to the live sue said i made it i kept checking but miss missed the beginning <laughs> welcome back thank you so much sue i appreciate you thank you for uh for getting to us excuse me thank you so much for getting to us um i know i left y'all for a couple days i was like should i get on I'm, i was trying to get on live in in, in hawaii but i was like nah i'm just i'm just stop but just like let let me like recharge and then i'm gonna get back and we're gonna we're gonna get right into it again so that's what i did uh chaotic key thank you so much for the follow i appreciate you uh what is that heather b me uh 77 thank you for the follow uh let me see where we at? Where we at? Uh, Vicky, thank you so much for the roses. I appreciate you. Um, uh, Rain Water, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Two Unique Designs said hello there. Just wanted to get on here and say thanks uh, for the foil hack. Used it on on my tea. Amazing. Thank you so much for for coming to to check in. I appreciate you so much. I'm glad your tea came out amazing. Uh, I don't expect nothing less from from your work. So, uh, thank you so much for that. Let me see. Rita Cole, uh, Coleman Williams, uh, thank you so much for the follow. Invincible uh, You, thank you so much for the follow. Vicky Johnson, thank you so much for being the number two, uh, the top two viewer. I appreciate you. Thank you for the roses. Uh, what is that? IG, uh, what is that? IG, uh, litter, what is it? I have no idea what that says. I'm not even going to butcher that thing. Uh, but th <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Matt Hatter said, um, how did you start out, uh, with your TikTok before you were able, uh, to go live? Uh, so the main things that I did, uh, was kind of focus on, like, the dances, uh, and focus on, like, uh, skits or, uh, you know, comedy stuff, um, that, that pertain to my, uh, my sock brand. Um, so I know the one that, that really got me a lot of attention was, um, what was it, uh, let me see. What, what, what was that? Uh, I don't know what the song was. Um, but I pretty much like uh, got on my hoverboard and I slid in that in the frame. <laughs> and it was like doing the dance or whatever. And, uh, and, you know, like I said, end up getting a lot of views from that and a lot of followers from that. So that's pretty much how I was able to get um, my, you know, my uh, my account to kind of like grow from there. Um, so all I would say is just kind of. Get when you when you're trying to to build a brand, 
I would encourage you guys to kind of put yourself into that brand. I know a lot of the times you guys don't like to be seen on camera. I was the same way. Uh, but I feel like um, in order to get um, in order to get people to, to, to buy from you or to support you, they have to know who you are. Um, so in some instances, you know, not being seen is fine. But I think for like clothing lines, for for things that you're selling um, or or courses, things like that, people have to be able to see you. All right. So um, I would just recommend you guys just kind of put yourself out there. Um, and I've I've seen I'm <laughs> I'm weird myself. I've seen some weird accounts and they they accounts is booming. So please don't like let that deter you like, oh, I'm you know, I'm weird or I'm not for everybody. No, you're for somebody. Um, so. Um, you know, just put yourself out there and, and just, you know, make it like unique, uh, material as opposed to just kind of just putting anything out there. Uh, cause I'm a weirdo and, and my whole fan bam now is weirdos, you know? So we, <laughs> we're going to cut that thing off. Uh, so if you guys have questions about how I grew my account, um, you know, how I got from just working at you, uh, Uber or, uh, Lyft or, or, you know, not, not Lyft, uh, Uber or, uh, what is that shopping one? I always forget that thing. Uh, what is that thing called? Uh, damn, I don't even know. I know it's, it's called something. It's the, sh it's the shopping one. Uh, so anybody who knows, help me out. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, I went from that about a year ago to now just working for myself, getting on lives teaching classes, um, and all, you know, not even have Instacart. There you go. Come on, Shay. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Instacart. Yes, exactly. So I went from doing that, um, and, and driving, you know, eight, 10 hours a day, um, to just working a couple hours a day, um, with like showing people how to, uh, <laughs> uh, IG, uh, cracking up at me, uh, showing people how to make socks, um, and you know, kind of how to like move their business along. Um, because if you're in my group, uh, if you're in my Facebook group, I tell my people all the time, promote your stuff, promote your socks, promote whatever you're working on. Um, don't just sit on like, you know, uh, do a video and then just sit on it. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. You know, because I want you guys to put, you're not going to get the followers. You're not going to get the support. If you don't post, you have to post. All right, IG is, or IG, I'm sorry, I'm looking at IG uh, comment. Um, <laughs> um, TikTok is a movement. Please understand that this is a gold mine, right? I had, like I said, I went from just doing those services to, to going to, you know, and working for myself, being able to pay my bills, you know, take care of my kids. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. And it's just o o a little over a year. I started back in March of 2021, all right? And that was just me, like, uh, teaching myself how to make socks, you know, doing it the old way and then kind of, you know, building up the nerve to, like, try something else and being like, okay, I have a problem. My problem was is that um, I didn't like that rolling method where, you know, you have to break up your image. Now I have it to where I have a 360 design. I have a 360 print because... I made, I knew that I had a problem and I wanted to solve that problem. So that problem, my problem ended up being a lot of other people's problem, which is why they bought the course. So again, put, you know, stop uh, downing yourself and just please get, get out there and, and do it. Like I, I really encourage you guys to do it. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I know, uh, Miko says something. Let me, um, See if I can find his comment real quick. Um, let me see where I'm at. Uh, dang, I'm all the way up here. We got a 60 inch in here, up in here. What's going on with your 60 inch? Uh, oh, oh, I glitter you. Sh come on, I glitter you shine. You know, come on. I was struggling with that. <laughs> I was struggling with that thing. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, oh, well, I'm just call. I, I be nicknaming everybody. Your name IG now, you know? <laughs> but thank you so much for the correction. I be struggling with them names. Y'all be killing me. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Man, I had it said, I post all my drawings. Guess I don't post enough. You do, please, you do not post enough. If you only post them once a day, if you post them twice a day, it's still not enough for when you're like under uh, a thousand. Even if you're under 
5,000. You need to like grind until you get to 5,000 and then it's kind of like smooth selling from there. But you have to be able to still engage with your people. Every time somebody send me a comment, I, I, um, I answer that comment if I can. Even if it's like hearts or whatever, I still will reply to that comment because it's still engagement. All right. And people like to feel like they're not following you for nothing. All right. Um, what is that? Lash Letty. What's going on with you? Thank you so much for coming to the live. Uh, Miko said, I used to uh, like the camera. I don't like it no more. <laughs> I feel you, bro. But I encourage you, if you're going to like do this, uh, learn how to do socks or learn how to do anything and you want to promote it, you want it, you know, to get to a certain level, you have to like push your stuff. Y'all have to push your stuff. Y'all can't just let it sit on the shelf and then expect for people to come to you because that's not how it works. Like you sometimes, you know, you got to put yourself out there in order for you to kind of get where you need to be. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Miko says, um, not being on social media for a long time. Um, then coming back, being on a uh, camera anxiety. I know. I feel you, bro. I know. I know. First of all, I still, it, it's funny cause I've been doing this, uh, consistently like, uh, Monday through Saturday, I've been doing this consistently for about four four months now, right? And my, my following has grown so much. What I will say is that I still get nervous. Like, I just got, you know, I just got problems with anxiety. Even though I come on here, it's my same people, and then it's new people, I still get nervous being on camera. It is what it is, right? But I would rather be on camera getting paid <laughs> than not on camera and being broke, <laughs> so that's that's what that's just what i look at that's how i look at it i'm sorry you know and you know philly we we we, we about that money we about the money so that's all i'm saying i would rather be on camera and be nervous than off camera and be broke that's all i'm saying you know uh let me see uh madison said uh i want to uh learn learn to do socks make sure y'all get the course the course the the link is in my bio this is kind of just a demo um so uh let's get into it uh, we're going to get into this, uh, reveal, this peel and reveal. Um, <laughs> look, Shay said he was calling you IG. <laughs> Listen, you know, when I can't get a name, I'll nickname somebody in a minute. Let's go. You know, everybody got, everybody in here got a name. Like, uh, we got Yo, we got, uh, uh 60 inch up in here. We got Bells. We got Miles. Uh, Miles is actually, her name is Mala, or I think she says Mala, but I call her Miles. So that's what, just what I've been calling her, you know? That's how we do. <laughs> that's how we do. We got Tiff in here. We got a whole bunch of people. All right, so we're going we to get into this uh, this peel and reveal real quick, you know? Let's take the uh, aluminum foil off. Please, I recommend that you do not use uh, your, uh, reuse your aluminum foil um, because it may have that the ink still trapped in the aluminum foil. So if, you if you're using an aluminum foil method like we're using now, then make sure that you just uh, use a separate sheet. That's why I like to get uh, the sheets here. Um, it's a uh, uh, 500 sheets that I got from um, Sam's Club. Um, so again, if you're if you're into uh, doing it with the aluminum foil, make sure you get the sheet so you can just kind of wrap it and then throw it away and you're good to go. All right. So we got this bake through look here. All right, on both sides. That's a good sign that we press both sides um, and it should be good to go. All right. So we're going to peel this thing back. Let me see. Let me see. The peel and reveal. Let's go, uh, J. Marie. I know. Let's get into the... Oh, Lord. I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't going to be able to do that thing. Oh, my God. 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 Did y'all see them colors? Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. That thing. Oh, my God. That thing's so crispy. That thing was so crispy. Hold on, hold on. We got to get into this. We got to get into these. Oh my God, it looks just like Hawaii out this thing. Oh look, oh my God. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Oh my God, I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Oh my God, that thing's so crispy. That thing's so crispy. Look at them bright colors, bro. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my God. That thing, oh Lord, that thing too hot to touch. Jeez. That's all I'm saying, bro. Oh my God, Miko, let him know, bro. Oh my God, that thing is so crispy. Oh Lord, oh my God, I outdid myself. I outdid myself, you know. <laughs> I ain't hyping myself up, but I outdid myself, bro. 
Let them know. Oh my God. Check out that 360 though. Oh Lord. Oh jeez. Oh, oh my God. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Oh my God. Them things is insane. Come on, Hawaii. Come on, Hawaii. Oh my God. I ain't gonna be able to do it, y'all. That thing was crazy. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Adele said to walk out. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Jay Marie said, ready to walk out in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Yo, my people already know. They already know I'm about to walk out because that thing gonna be, oh my God. I can't even, I can't even be in my, my skin right now, you know? Oh Lord. Fire creator got the, uh, got the fire emojis. Let's go. Sue said, oh my God. Sue said, oh my God. <laughs> Let them know, Sue. Let them know. You know? Miko cracking up. Y'all crazy. Uh, Lash said, love it. Let me see. Uh, Shay said, vibrant. It's the colors for me. Let's go. Let me see. Hold on. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Um, <laughs> look. Uh, Sue said, put it on the tumbler. Let them know, Sue. Let them know. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do that. Hold on. You know, we got we to gotta do it like it's on the leg. We got to put that thing like it's on the leg. Let's go. Hold on. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. That thing's so crispy. Oh, my. I can going ever do it. I got to look away for a second, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Look. Oh, my. I'm done. I ain't going to ever do it. I ain't going to ever do that thing. Oh, my God. Why did they come out like that? Jeez. You know, <laughs> Sherelle said, I cannot. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Miko said, that's tough. Let's go, bro. You know, uh, uh, Fire said, those, those are 100. Let's go. Oh, my God. We about to get into the second one. We don't even have to, but we about to. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I quit. I quit. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Did y'all see that pill? Did y'all see that pill? Oh my God, man! Oh my God! Let's go. Let me see. Let me see what y'all. Let me see what y'all talking about. Y'all got me hot up in this thing, you know? Uh, let me see. Adele said, we need to design, we need to design a, a Mr. Styles walkout sock. Let's go. <laughs> just, just take a picture of me like this. <laughs> just take a picture of me from the back, yo. Because <laughs> I'm definitely walking out. You know? Let me see. Oh, man. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Miko said, uh, can sublimation ink go uh, in a normal printer? So no, you're going to need a sublimation printer. Now, you don't necessarily got to get the Seagrass, but you can get the Eco Tank, uh, which is by Epson, and it's probably about 200 between 200 and 300, depending on the model that you get. Uh, but once you have the sublimation printer, um, then you're good to go. Like if you have the heat press already, um, then you're already ahead of the game. So you just need to get the sublimation printer again, which is like between $200 and uh, $300, and you're good to go. You just need to get the ink, sublimation ink, get some paper, get the socks, and and you'll be right right on your way. Um, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> IG said, uh, drop the mic. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, let me see. What is that? Honey Tees said, uh, where do you get your images from? So... These images I got from, all right, so let me just say this. I did this in Procreate, right? And I got to get out of here because um, my Procreate class started in like uh, six minutes. So this image uh, is what I actually did. So I found this this image here, and then I actually uh, made uh, this um, this surfboard here, all right? And then I put the image in inside the surfboard. Now this Aloha, um, this looked differently. Uh, when I found it on Amazon, but I just kind of put the purple, um, I think it's like pink, orange, and blue in there, 
and then um you know made that out of a, a design all right so um the design all of these images if i didn't make them then i pretty much just um you know kind of altered them in some some type of way but i did that using procreate so again if you guys are interested in the procreate class make sure you get in that thing um it's not a a set price for the class it's just donation based so whatever you can afford uh for the five week class make sure you get in there the link is in the bio for that um again i have what is that cohort eight will be uh starting on uh august 9th so if you guys want to get into that y'all want to learn about procreate how to design a little bit how to you know uh manipulate the using uh the tools with procreate then feel free get into that class like i said we ain't breaking your pockets we just trying to teach you you know um so let me uh let me hurry up because i gotta get up out of here so i can change this whole dust around for my class uh let me see um mala said uh if you if you only uh was on if only you would uh would had uh them sooner uh had what <laughs> had what sooner Miles? let me see uh let me see let me see um sandora said you did it uh that's that's why that thing like that <laughs> Let's go, Sandoris. <laughs> she said, "Bomb is up, uh, bomb as usual." Let's go. You know, um, like Mala said, I create them and procreate. Yes, absolutely. Um, let me see. Uh, Miko said, uh, "You made something as simple as socks entertaining, and educational, and fun." I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Um, let me see. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Uh, Sandora said, "I agree, Miko." <laughs> Let's go. We got Miko in the fam now. We Miko in the fam now. He might, he might as well just get in the group. You know, he in the fam bam now. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, Just Crafty uh said I just got my um ET fifteen uh thousand and XP fifteen thousand. Let's go. You know, don't let that thing sit. Make sure you get, you get on it. You know, you ain't spend that money for nothing. Uh, what is that, Jerry? Or Jarek, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that thing. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Miles said, I mean, uh, the Epson ET are uh, great starters. Yes, absolutely. And don't have uh, to have, um, uh, what is it, have the most expensive one either. Exactly, or exactly. So whatever uh, Epson is the lowest, but it has to be the Eco Tank. Whatever uh, Epson Eco Tank is the lowest, go for that one because it doesn't really matter. They all pretty much do the same thing. Now, the ET15000 does uh, have, it's like bigger, so it uh, prints um, uh, uh, wider uh, wider prints. I think uh, 13 by 9 is maybe the highest, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but again, you don't have to necessarily uh, get the most expensive one to, to still do your thing, all right? Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, Fire Creator said, yes, we got got class uh bring that energy let's <laughs> let's go let's go we in here we got to get out of here uh let me see sue said uh have a great day uh good to see you back and take care of everyone thank you so much sue i love you from the uk uh thank you for coming to to the, to the live i appreciate you uh let me see uh ig said have a great evening you guys do the same i want you guys to do something for yourself please do not sit in uh, whatever this fear y'all got going on, uh, this anxiety, get to it. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, tomorrow is not promised and you have to get your stuff done today. Don't just, you know, just kind of dwell in wherever you're at. Because if, if I would have did that, then I would still be driving for somebody else, still making somebody else uh, money instead of making myself money or having all the money go to my family um, and my household. So please, uh, I know that it's scary. Um, and I got anxiety uh, through through the roof. Uh, so if I can do it, I promise you guys that you can do it as well. All right. Uh, uh, Tiff, thank you so much for the trucks. Uh, we're going to get up out of here. Thank you guys for coming to the live. I appreciate you so, so much. Uh, make sure y'all come tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday. So we'll be here um, around 3 p.m. Central Time. Y'all know we, you know, I'm always late. So it's 3-ish, uh, 3-ish, right? So I love you guys so, so much. Tiff, thank you. What, like I always say, never sit in your fears. Get your mad truck and plow through that thing. I love y'all. Peace.